I will only change my habits if I change it from my heart, from here, right? Yeah. Where I really see that <laughs> it's in it for me, right? And if it is not, then I will not change. So changing that is a very, very tricky, um, I would say, ordeal for, for companies. You need to communicate, why are we doing this? Why do we have this transformation? But, but the people, it, it's, um, it's not an easy one to solve. How to to get everybody on board, how to get that transformation, how to get them for not being resistant, which is a natural uh, of different phases. You have the one that is resistant and then they, I don't know if you say they wanna see the light and then they change or they or they join the transformation and being part of it. So um, I, I think when you go in, you will always have some groups that loves it. You will have some groups that say there will be this resistance. So what's, what's your secret sauce for the resistant part of, of, the, of the people? But what, what do great. you what do you do? That's a great question. So um, I will tell you the skeptics and the resistance uh, re people are more than the ones who um, take the prescription just like that. Right? They will not start, you know, eating the pill just of agile, <laughs> you know, just like that. Yeah, um, it's a it's definitely um, a mindset change in terms of um, what is in it for them. So the the secret sauce is that. We always talk about customer value, but we need to really think about what's the value for a product owner? What is the value for product manager? What's the value for the sales guy? What's the value for the marketing, HR, all the teams which are connected? And the, another secret sauce is that product should be owned by entire company. What will you do to unlock innovation?